it's Vicky here from Crafty Heaven and thank you very much for joining me today and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this fun fold card and this is for my nana it's her birthday at the weekend so I wanted to make it very special for her so this centerpiece lifts up like that to reveal the area that you would write your message on and I've just decorated it here with some flowers and leaves and then have my sentiment on there and we just added some of these 3D pearls using the pearl effects so really easy to make and that's what it looks like on the back so if you want to know how to make it then let's get started this is a retired one because I got it off eBay and I'm using the happy birthday sentiment and the one of the best things in life is you sentiment so we're using that and we're using the Abigail Rose designer series paper from Stampin' Up and this is a current one because I actually hauled this a few weeks ago and we're using this beautiful paper here and then we I've cut out this large image here but I'm actually only going to colour in this large flower and I'm going to cut that out and use that on my card um, but then I can use all the other ones um, for a different projects so it won't go to waste so that's the paper and stamp set we're using so I have my card and paper ready so I'll have the measurements on the screen for you so for the card base I have two pieces of card that measure five and a half by seven and these two are going to get stuck together like that one because it will make the card base more sturdier and then second of all because the second card that's going on top will layer on here like that and then it will have this half inch section that we will score that will get tucked behind between these two card bases here okay so like I said two pieces of card that measure five and a half by seven then you're going to cut a piece of white cardstock and this measures five and three eighths by six and seven eighths and that will lay on top of there then your designer series paper or whatever paper you would like to use measures five and a quarter by six and three quarters and that will go on there pieces that are going to go on top you'll need another piece of card that measures three by six and then we have another piece of cardstock that two and seven eighths by five and three eighths and that will go on top of there and then you'll need some paper that's two and three quarters by five and a quarter and that will go on For there this piece which is the three by six and along the six inch side we're just going to score it at half an inch so i'm going to place that in there score that at half an inch okay and that's the only scoring that we need to do so now what we can do is we can start layering these together and getting them stuck on so these two pieces we're going to just leave for the minute we're just going to have one so we can attach these ones on top so i'm just going to use my tape runner and Okay, so that's that one done. Fold then on that score line. Okay, and like I said, that will go on there, and that half inch will go behind there, and it will get hidden in between those two pieces, like that. Okay, so we need to glue these th um, three together. okay and then we can add this on here so i want to place it preferably in the middle and then once i'm happy i can place some adhesive onto this section here okay so there we go okay and so now we can attach these two pieces together so i've added some double-sided tape on there but i'm also going to 
add plenty of liquid glue on there because I don't want it to come apart so I'm just going to add plenty on there and then place that over the top hoping that I can line it up because it's difficult to see <laughs> so place that on there like so and there we go and then give that a good press okay so there we go so that's now attached and i'm going to color in my flower so like i said i've cut out this big image here and i'm just going to color in this larger flower here and um, when i've done that And there we go so that's it all cut out now and i've added some clear wing costella to the center of that flower and just look how beautiful that is so i'm going to place that there but i want some leaves sticking out of it so i have got some glitter cardstock here and also this leaf punch from stamping up okay and i'm going to just punch out couple of the leaves okay and I've got some more to the side here because what I was thinking was to have my flower there and then having the larger leaves there and also this side and I wanted them just to hang off this card bit here, like so. Obviously, I'll do it a bit more neater, but I'm just giving you the idea. And then these smaller pieces can just fit in there as well. And I just thought that silver glitter cardstock just finished it off beautifully. So. Yeah, that's the idea. So that's where I'm thinking of placing them. So for my sentiment, I've cut a piece of cardstock that measures one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And then the colored piece that's gonna go behind it is two by two inches. So I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. Hopefully I'll get it in the middle. And I'm using the, one of the best things in life is you. So I have that on my block ready and I'm using my Bimento Tuxedo Black Ink and then we're going to layer that on there so I think I'm going to just glue that one on there and then we're going to pop that up on some dimensionals okay so I've stuck them together and I've also added some foam tape and that's going to go about there I think something like that and then I can go ahead and glue these down. So I'm actually going to glue them off camera. So there we go. So I've added 
two more flowers because I thought the single flower looked a bit lost with all these leaves on and I think that looks really pretty and then I've added a bow on the top with this silver ribbon that I got from the range so that's what that looks like and then just to finish it off I have my coat on because I'm freezing <laughs> And also I'm waiting just for my granddad to phone me to pick him up. So I want to be able to just go. So I'm going to add a piece of white cardstock and coloured cardstock in the middle here. And it will get covered up. So then we can write a message on here. So the white piece measures two and a half by four. And then the blue one measures two and five eighths by four and one eighths. And we're just going to glue that together. So that's that done. And then just to finish it off, I have the Dovecraft 3D Pearl Effects. And I'm just going to place some randomly on here. There we go so that is my fun fold card that i've made for my nana and i hope that you enjoyed this at all i'm just going to be careful lifting them up so i don't catch that these pearls that i've just put down but there we go so uh, if you enjoyed this video as always give it a big thumbs up and please continue to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, guys, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.